Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. So in the last episode we have been catching up with our um, old friends and I must say I'm kind of sad that I can't ask Dandelion about this masterpiece here and how this came into being. <laughs> I would I would like to know more about what this painting. But it's it's not an option to ask. Anyway, I think um, today I want to do some quests again, specifically um, some of the quests for our friends. And I guess I'm going to start with the one for Zoltan because it's the lowest level. So um, let's get this done first. Zoltan is outside, so. Um, What's he schemed up this time? Who? Zoltan? Dandelion? Oh, I think that is new. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's talk to him again. Zoltan? Get out. So, um, yeah, about those cards. About those cards. You got them? Not yet. Oh, so why are you here? <laughs> Miss me that much? This is no time for chit chat, Geralt. We need to get those cards. Ah, okay. I, I actually have to go and try to get them already. I haven't the strength, Geralt. <laughs> Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Okay. Um, I I think I try to. She looks she looks really really um exasperated. <laughs> anyway, let's go and take care of Zoltan's problem first. Um. So I need to get the cards from this oh, one guy. Oh. Uh, I forgot his name, but um, apparently Go he's away. living somewhere around <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at this. Locked. It looks like Zed's inside hmm. and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Okay. How how do you know that? But um sure, let's try to find another way in. And apparently that was the name. Okay, um there's letter here. Good thing we got you. Let's see if we can use the letters to get inside. Whoops, um, to jump over here. And there seems to be a door, right. Uh huh. Search that's home using your Witcher senses. Um, oh, is that him? Must be Zed. <laughs> well, I guess Zed's dead, huh? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's um, have a look around. I see some cards over here. Kind of hard to see which one, though. Okay, um, what else can we find? Nothing in this room. Find it. Oh no. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! <laughs> of course, um, of course. People are really serious about their wind cards, huh? Apparently they're worth killing and dying for. Huh. Okay, um... Let's see. Oh, key to Zed's pawn shop. And the Isengrim Foiltiana card. Isengrim Foiltiana from the Square Tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. A lot, apparently. A lot. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Okay. So where might the ledger be? They were looking for something. Yeah, no kidding, Geralt. They were looking for the cards. 
They were looking for something. Um, yeah. They were looking for something. <laughs> What is this? Ledger of Incomet Outlays. Ah, that's the ledger. Hmm. Let's have a look. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Outlay. Steel Sword New. Fabian Olivier. Moth Eaten Coat of Gold Cloth. Duke. Ezer Grimfoltiana card. Ravik. Fringilla Vigo card. Caesar Bilson. Three Polished Peacock Opals. Vixen. Okay. I mean, I already got the Isengrim card. Um, not sure about the Natalis card, but apparently the Fringilla card went to Caesar Bilson. So that's one lead at least. Zoltan okay. Have a look at this. Bring the card, and that's Ledger to Zoltan. Okay, uh, let's do that. Can I exit here now? Yes, I can. All right, um, back to Zoltan it is. So, um, I have one of the cards. Zoltan? Get out! Um, yeah, about the cards. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isn't Grim card. Should he? Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. <laughs> I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. <laughs> what about the other cards? Um. Yeah, I didn't find the other two. And apparently this business is getting really dangerous. Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. <laughs> and believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Zeds, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Um, yeah, I didn't... I didn't find them. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson <laughs> and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Um, so who's Caesar Bilson? Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the <laughs> Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. You are a member of the Anglers Club. I, I learn a new thing about you every day, Sultan. Okay, and what about Ravi? Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Oh. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. That's not what the ledger said. The ledger said that Ravi got the Isengrim card, but I already have the Isengrim card. So I guess it's a mistake in the ledger, right? Um, yeah, sure, let's uh, get those cards. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted <laughs> gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll <laughs> cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. All right. So, get the John Natalis card from Ravik meet Zoltan in front of Caesar Bilson's house. Yeah, so apparently it's a mistake in the ledger and it meant to say Natalis card sold to Ravi because I already have the Isengrim card. Anyway, um... Okay, this one is a little bit closer, so I guess, um... We're going to start... 
for that card. Uh, let's go this way. What village are you from? Willows. Since no loitering round here. <laughs> well, Zoltan, you are quick. I ran all the way um, over here, and you're already here. Interesting. Ah, uh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the car there. <laughs> um, yeah, how about we just buy it from him? Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd <laughs> sod off to Povis. Said Caesar never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. <laughs> Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. Oh, I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. Okay, well, um, so what else is in that cabinet? So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. <laughs> You'll be the first to see it. Oh, wow. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Okay. Chivi. She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the <laughs> Ponta. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, <laughs> Geralt fish? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. All day. Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. <laughs> and the ponta! You betcha! Garrett is such a terrible Can't liar. Listen to this hogwash <laughs> sober. Come in! So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored <laughs> shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? <laughs> this is one weird conversation. Um, definitely not the sort of conversation that I expected to encounter in this game. Um, <laughs> recently is not a word. Ah, let's agree with our host here, huh? Happen to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you <laughs> shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young <laughs> pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers. Though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. <laughs> Would have eaten it myself. Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Kaer Morhen? <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> I can see Garrett doing blast fishing, yeah. Bombs. How's that? Both <laughs> <laughs> and had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Garrett! It was a little funny. Who fetches another bottle? 
Um. Right, I'm going to fetch a bottle, of course. Right, can see the bottom of this one. <laughs> Oh, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. You forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard, you wouldn't have fallen in. <laughs> now I'm kind of curious about the story. Nice razors you got there. But um, I'm supposed to look upstairs for the card, right? So let's do this inconspicuously and see what we can find bunch of books that I've already read oh I found something knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop ooh drawer is open hidden compartment mm. a key okay now I need to find the proper place to use the key. Oh, that that must be it. Hang on a second. Uh, let's use the key. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. <laughs> Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Classic indeed. And another door. And we can go upstairs. Oh, what is this? Shade figurine. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Oh, this is this is another one of those statues we found earlier. Artifact compression. Anyway, um, this must be the cabinet. Let's have a look at it. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting piece. Ornate sword. Just a random sword with no deeper meaning. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. I can't, I can't take this one though. Apparently, dining set no. from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. I can take the sword and the the necklace, but not Emperor Amir's dining plate. Oh, speaking of which, portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on <laughs> wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. It seems to me that uh, our dwarven friend here is an admirer of Nilfgaard, huh? Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. <laughs> Joachim de Vet Skull. Hmm, <laughs> pretty grim curiosity. Indeed. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. <laughs> this is an interesting cabinet. Oh, this must be the card. Fringilla Vigo, yes. Ah, here's Fringilla. Alright, so... I have what I was looking for. And yeah, all of these things have some connection to Nilfgaard, right? Most of them anyway. Okay, um, let's get back down. Talk to Zoltan. No white cherry fucks. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Um... Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's <laughs> very unhappy. 
Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Um, I don't know what this is about, but I don't like your tone of voice. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for <laughs> killing the Witcher. Well, hot to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Um, okay. Yeah. I guess we'll have to deal with the hand dwarfs here, huh? Well, nice. that was quick. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. <laughs> right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Well, at least he won't notice we stole his card. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Um, yeah, interesting cabinet, by the way. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's <laughs> dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit. Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No, I didn't take the rope. No. <laughs> <sighs> if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Well, I have to talk to Triss anyway. Yeah, um, let's go and visit Ravi now. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Alright, alright. See you later. Um, so it shouldn't be that far away. No, it's right over here. Let's see if we can get that card with a little bit less trouble. And maybe even without killing people. Because it's just when cards, guys. It's not a reason to kill each other over. Alright, uh, let's have a look. Oh, come here, hero. Give us a kiss. Although he is. Okay, apparently, I have to look downstairs. Hey, Whitey. How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and uh... oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. <laughs> Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's play. Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play! Let's play! Better than just killing people again, right? Although, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if I end up killing them after all, because they kind of look like sour losers to me. Yeah, let's use the Guardian deck and see what we can do. Apparently, he's using the Guardian as well. Um, okay, let's try this. Okay. 
Okay, he's playing spy. I will be playing spy. And he is passing already. Um, okay. What is the cheapest way to pass his seven points? I guess it would be the young emissary. There we go. Now let's pass. Okay, um, first of all, I think I'm going to bring back this guy. And now we can just play the rest of our cards without much strategizing because I just need to win one more round. Um, that's not 10 yet, so let's wait with our dragon card. Okay, now I could use a dragon. <laughs> His cards are all kind of low though. Oh well. Yeah, I don't I don't see him beating me with cards like these. anything higher than a five. No wonder he's after this one card. Because his own deck sucks. On, on here because I've already used Dandelion, right? Okay, it increases Dandelion, but it does not increase the rest. I see. But uh, that's good to know. And I'm not going to use the Scorch, so let's just pass. And this was a very easy victory. As a mate, and sit still, or you hurt yourself. But, but he won. So now we uh, I knew else. it. I knew it. I knew they wouldn't just accept defeat. So I guess um, I will have to kill you. That was even easier than winning the Gwent game. I don't know how I'll repay you. Natalis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some <laughs> other? Got a whole array you might nope. like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Okay, okay, so... We have... All the cards that we need. For some reason, the enemies outside. I'm not sure if this is related to my quest, but it probably isn't because I'm just supposed to go back to Zoltan. So, um, well, let's do it. That's probably just some Maybe bandits or whatever. Bats. Who knows? So, let's just ignore them. Um, this is not the exit. This is the exit. It's gonna be sick. What's the hurry? 
Something Lots stinks. Decomposing flesh. What? Human flesh. What? How? Why? Oh, um... Well, let's have a look at this. Not sure if this has anything to do with my current quest, but apparently there's a dead body. Sword wound. Shallow, but severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Okay, apparently... This is an entirely new quest. A feast for crows. Use your witcher senses to figure out what happened to the murdered man. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to do this now. I want to uh, finish this quest. Ugh. So let's go back and talk to Zoltan. Yeah. And I will have a look at that quest later. Zoltan. So, I have all the cards. Got the card, Zoltan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the King of Beggars buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. Mm. Okay. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. <laughs> as long as they pay. Okay. So, this is a place? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beer. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. <laughs> what is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. <laughs> More or less in that order. More or less. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. <sighs> I must have a chat with him. People really are really, Geralt. really serious Bastards about get their away with my coin. when Geralt. cards. <laughs> with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Are you sure you can take care of that? Um, but okay, um, I'm going to chase that guy and you can deal with these people. So, um, apparently he went upstairs. Um, let's try to use the ladder. Thank you. Uh, can't you like just climb the ladder, please? And a little bit faster, this is a chase. What? Can't understand a word. <laughs> Slowest away, chase Duke. ever. Might as well stop. Okay, now it's actually a chase. <laughs> That's more like it. Woo! He totally vanished here. Um, apparently he's downstairs. I'm just, I'm just going to jump down. I'm not going to let him clamp down the ladders, agonizingly slow as he is. <laughs> and even further down. Okay, apparently he's somewhere on this level, but um, I can't seem to f see an exit. So let's go down here. Oh. There he is. Um, can't go through here. Oh, uh, drown us. This is not what I'm looking for here. I guess I'll kill them all the same. Huh. And... Oh, I see. Can destroy this. And oh, more drama. So 
also, um, where's the guy? Gotcha. Leave me, uh, swiving drowners. You could use a witcher. <laughs> ha ha. Highly amusing. If if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha. Huh. What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. <laughs> so long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone <laughs> with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. <laughs> um, well, I have more coin than I will ever need, probably. So I will take the cards. Kind of curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent. I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember... The catfish is the king of the Ponta. <laughs> okay, I will remember. Right, um, we finished the quest. Zoltan is happy, I hope. And apparently he managed to kill all the people around here. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Okay, so I have uh, a few more unique cards, which means I should be closer to my goal. Yes, I only need five more cards in Novigrad. Uh, let's let's have a look at them. Why don't we? Um, I mean, Fringilla Vigo should be Nilfgaardian, yes. But it's not really that great of a card, so I don't think I'm going to use her. Uh, John Natalis should be Northern Realms, right? Yeah, there he is. Uh, this isn't bad. I may actually want to kick out Deathmold <laughs> and take Natalis instead. And Isengrim is Goyatel. Oh, this is a pretty good one. I think I'm definitely going to take him. Maybe in exchange for one of those cards that have no special abilities, like this one. There we go! Three new cards, and Zoltan is happy too. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And we still have a quest for Dandelion and a quest for uh, Triss, and we got a new one apparently. Which is uh, this one, a Feast for Crows. It's level 20. But, I mean, I'm not that far away from level 20, so I think um, this shouldn't be a problem. So, yeah, um, but for now, uh, let's make a cut here, and we continue tomorrow. So, as usual, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and see you again next time.